We are going to have a singles match with the eight sevens, Roy Johnson making his way to the ring now, taking on the alpha male, Yestin Rees. And we welcome Yestin back to FBW for the first time since 2014. I am a big fan of big wavy, Steve. Well, there he is, out he comes. The 8-7 and my boys from South London, fellow Palace fans, oh, I, I couldn't love them anymore. Um, thanks, Bobby. What was the score yesterday? Oh, do, we don't talk about okay, that, Steve. Yeah, I didn't think you wanted to. <laughs> so, uh, look, the FBW crowd, they're not quite sure what to make of, of Big Wavy Roy Johnson. Look, you know, Roy's been with us for a long time, you know, did some commentary with me at one of our shows before, but there's, an, there's been an attitude change and a step change with, with, with Roy, with, you know, with the, the starting of the 8-7 and clearly, clearly some attitude um, that I think Big Yes in the Alpha Male is going to slap out of him today. Hey, there is one thing you can say about the 8-7 and that is that they have a lot of attitude. So whether you love them or hate them, they bring that attitude to the ring everywhere they go. Though you say Big Yes then, Roy Johnson is a massive man himself. Absolutely. What, what you will see in this match, Bobby, 100% is a whole lot of beef. You know, fillet, rump, sirloin. Big man meat slapping big man meat. T-bone, the whole steak selection is here this evening. Hey, there's a few there's a few FPW fans who are behind the 8-7 by the sound of this Yeah, and, and again, I'm, I'm going to have to question their sanity, Bobby. <laughs> hey, say what you want, but the, the charisma of every member of the 8-7 will draw some of these fans in. They are big lads and they hit hard. But Bobby, look at this guy here, right in, here in the ring. Roy Johnson, not an ounce of fat on this man's body. The muscles, there are muscles in places you don't have places, Steve. I've got a lot of places. Here we go, Yeston Rees making his way to the ring. I'll tell you something, Steve, this is my first time seeing Yeston Rees live in action. Bobby, you are not going to be disappointed. This guy is absolutely stacked. Hey, you speak about an immovable object and an irresistible force. Here we go. Absolutely. Look, it, this guy is chiseled. Now, what you won't know, or you may know, about both of these guys, both of these guys professional bodybuilders. So not only have we got what will be an absolutely amazing match, but possibly a pose now? Hey, a pose down to start a match is never a bad thing, Steve. Let's see those muscles. Now, this is interesting. How is this match going to start? Are they going to go for that high impact? Are they going to feed each other out? Two big men known for their power. Now, this crowd already under the skin, a big wavy. See, the, the thing about uh, Roy Johnson, Bobby, is that when he's the biggest man, the charisma comes out. Used to be able to play that power game, but that's going to be a difficult game with Reese. Absolutely, this got he. Yestin is bigger than Roy is, hey, so he's, he's not got that advantage today, Bobby. There are not many people that can say they're bigger than Big Wavy, but Yestin Reese is just one of the few. Yestin getting the crowd going. Crowd very much behind Yestin, more so than uh, than Big Wavy, uh, Bobby. Have you ever seen muscles and veins appear on someone when they clap, Steve? Jesus Christ. Now this is going to go straight for the collar and elbow tie-ups, the power game. Who's going to have the advantage? Absolutely. I'm calling test of strength. Oh, Roy Johnson decided he's had enough already. He's out of here. Well, you know... <laughs> this, this is the concern, I suppose. Like I said, you know, Roy's okay when he's the biggest guy, Bobby, but he, he's not the biggest guy, so he, he's going to have to play a slightly different uh, different game today. Hey, hey, Roy just wants to adjust his knee pad and his trunks, okay? He's, he's just taking his time. Or he's a little scared. I can't tell you the tell you Yeah, I'm, I'm going with, uh, with option two. Taking time to jaw jack with the audience. He's taking his eyes off Reese. It seems like a mistake, but Reese doing the honourable thing. Letting Johnson get back in. He wants this to be a fair fight. All right, here we go. Let's get this underway. Colin Elwood tie up. Here it comes. And Reese getting the immediate power advantage. Johnson switches around and a switch around by Reese. They are overpowering each other second by second, Steve. 
clean break, which I wasn't expecting. Mm. I think, you know, look, look, looking at them, as I said, no one man is going to have a massive advantage in this match, Bobby. You know, they're both really, really big guys, and, and that shoulder box just proved it. Two runaway trains colliding with each other. Johnson now challenging Reeves to, to build up steam, give it a go, try the shoulder tackle. Cheap shot by Johnson, elbow club, club to the back. So you saw the, the smirk on Johnson's face then as he suffered yesterday in when he delivered that back elbow as well at the same time, Bobby. Stomping those mud holes in the corner. Reese just trying to retreat, trying to get a second to breathe. Johnson overpowering Reese, sending him into the corner. Baited in though, boot to the jaw. Up to the second rope. It's not often you see a big man fly, but what a shoulder tackle. That was like a jumbo jet hitting a small house. Clothesline after clothesline, Johnson is down. Powered up, scoop slam. The strength of Reese, unbelievable. Jumping elbow. That could be over to the heart. You might not be able to breathe. Johnson kicking out at two, though. Uh, listen, we haven't seen yesterday for a long time, but this guy does not miss a beat, Bobby. Every time he steps through those ropes, Yeston means business. Yeston's looking seriously impressive. Anyone who can get uh, an advantage over someone the strength of Big Wavy has got something going on. Powers out, shoots the half. Forcing into the corner, get grabbing hold of my Ramos and a low blow by Johnson. Ref, did you see that low blow? Johnson now working the spine after a low blow. Bobby, I said to you, Big Wavy going to have to make some serious changes to his normal game that he plays in the ring today because he isn't the biggest man. I think we just saw that there with that low blow. Hey, no matter how big you are, a low blow will take anyone down. Jensen is now reeling, slammed into the corner by Big Wavy and all that strength thrown into that Irish whip. Again, we saw in the last match Paul Robinson hit the turnbuckle with velocity, but I suppose with uh, Big Wavy, can't, because Justin is so big, cannot get that momentum getting him as quick across the ring. Hey. Well, anyone the size of Big Wavy throwing anyone else, that person's flying over the top rope, but Justin being so big, so heavy, so strong himself. Got that good foundation, that good base to stay in the ring. Try to give himself a fighting chance, Steve. Yeah. Johnson again, kind of pushing the limits of this match, bending the rules, using all of that five count before our referee Martin broke it up. Yes, he's, yes he's slowly making his way to his uh, his feet, but uh, Johnson staying on top of him all the way through this match. But yes, he's fighting back. Those big body shots, not enough. Big club in black, back blow by Johnson. Powering up, look for that patented backbreaker. Backbreaker across the knee. That could be it, Steve. Just a two count. Big Wavy in firm control. Absolutely, I think Bobby, uh, Big Wavy's gonna have to do a little bit more to take down the alpha male uh, than, than just hit him with a backbreaker, I'm afraid. But uh, is, he, is he really gonna try and set him up for a suplex? Hey, I've seen more crazy things in a wrestling ring, Steve. But uh, you've got to have a lot of strength to lift, lift Reese up like that. Reversal! Snap suplex! Reese back in control! Absolutely. But Big Wavy spending too much time looking at the crowd and being pretty rather than getting the job done. Yes, in with a very, very quick reversal, but then the reversal of his own jawbreaker from Big Wavy. Yes, in down to the map. Referee Martin Reed. One, two. I don't think that. I think Johnson knew that was not enough to keep Reese down. Forcing him to expend that energy to kick out. Someone the size of Roy Johnson laying across your chest. You've got to power out. Working the back now. Reese really struggling to find a foothold in this match. Johnson has cut many a corner already, though. That's why he cannot get a foot in it. Snapmare by Johnson. Now looking for a submission. Gonna crack the arm, look to, to get a trap in, working the spine and the kidneys with those knuckles. And you can see there, Yeston's arm stretched firmly across his face as well at the same time. Johnson laying the punches in as well at the same time to try and uh, work Yeston down. A couple of knees to the back as well. Right in the kidneys, Steve. I don't know if you've ever been hitting the kidneys, but it is painful. Uh, it takes the wind out of you. Absolutely, yeah. yeah I've had uh, one or two kidney punches in my time, so yeah, I know exactly how that one feels. Working the jaw now, 
Reese powering his way up though. Not many people could power their way out of a Roy Johnson chin lock. Chop to the chest and a big mistake by Johnson who's now begging off. Absolutely, you can see that as well. Reese now, ahead of steam, chop, punch, chop, punch. He is taking control of Big Wavy. Sends him into the turnbuckle, face first, across the ring. And another one for good measure. Reese is in control. Yeah, third time's a charm there, Bobby. Yeah, the big ten punches in the corner. Our crowd counting along. We're one big ball punch. Here comes number ten, right to the face. Johnson is reeling, set across the ring. Yes, did head of steam, splash into the corner. One more for good luck. Johnson is on his feet, but he is barely standing. Head of steam, what a flying clothesline by Rees. This could be it. Just a counter two, Johnson powers up. You got to think if Rees hooked the leg, Steve, that could have been done. Absolutely, I think, you know, a little bit of nonchalance there maybe by uh, by Yestin Rees not hooking the leg thinking he might have got the job done but uh, Big no. Wavy back to his feet again nonchalance or exhaustion Steve not sure which one but I think uh, Yestin's about to slap the nose strap off of Johnson's face what a forearm to Johnson Rees getting ahead of steam Johnson gets that boot up Roy now kind of getting his feet back underneath him but power slam in the centre of the ring what a slam, I thought that was it. Yeah, 2.999 there, I think, uh, Bobby. That was a very, very close to a three count. Reese starting to look frustrated that he can't keep Big Wavy down. Say what you want about Johnson. Say what you want about the 8-7. They are some tough lads. Maybe uh, maybe the uh, Big Wavy's been motivated by the uh, the red and the uh, the blue hey he's staring at them palace colors feeling inspired he's what a flatliner into the cover this could be it face first it could be done and reese just kicks out i was gonna say steve that roy johnson is feeling glad all over looking at the red and blue but not quite there with that flatliner uh, too many palace puns for me in this commentary <laughs> uh, commentary booth this afternoon <laughs> I won't remind you that uh, Brighton beat Palace 4-1 yesterday. Oh, a stumble by Johnson. He looks like he's got a problem with his knee. What a slam into the centre of the ring. Urinagi does not get the job done. Johnson powers that left arm out and Rees looks exhausted and exasperated. Trying to build up air to steam, trying to get the crowd behind him as well. The crowd firmly behind Reese, chanting his name. Big Wavy doesn't know where he is, finding his feet. Powers him up into the fireman's carry. Johnson slips out the back, sends Reese off the ropes, looking for the pounce. Avoided by Reese, sends Big Wavy out for the powder. Now Reese wisely taking some time to get his breath back, but he can't give Roy Johnson too long. Absolutely. The other thing about being, you know, as big as these guys are, you know, you put yourself through the mill, you know, you're going to run out of steam at some point, and when you've got two guys the size of this hitting each other, you know, it's going to take it out of you, Bobby, for sure. Hanging Rees up over the top rope with a guillotine. Roy Johnson now taking another shortcut to take control of this match. Now forearm to the face. Second forearm to the face. Rees will always give as good he gets as he gets with those forearms. Two big lads just whacking each other in the face. Right hand by Reese sends Johnson reeling. Now they've got to get back in the ring. Referee's already at a count of four. At the moment, these guys don't look bothered by it. They're you know, just happily beating the holy hell out of each other uh, around the ringside. You know, fans getting a real close up of, uh, of what these two guys are, are putting each other through. Hey, every penny of that front row seat is worth it when you've got these two big lads beating each other up in front of you, Steve. What a chop, and they head through our curtain. Can Hang we get, a second. Can we get anyone out there to see? Wow. Wow. Well, not quite sure what happened there. Both guys really, really just wanting to bash the holy bejeebies out of each other.
These guys hate each other so much. They they didn't listen to the tank out and they just kept fighting. Can we see if someone can we send someone to see if they're still fighting? I assume they are. There are plenty of wrestlers back there to break it up. Absolutely, but Bobby. I've just heard from the back. Yes, they are still punching the living daylights out of each other in the locker room.